So basically at this point um, I, will, I will keep the encounter none on and I will just, I will try and uh, just get through the game playing boss fights only and that's why I also, uh, also took uh, HP bonus and mm, strength bonus off of Squall because I'm probably not gonna gain gain any levels anymore.
Okay, we're inside Lunatic, <coughs> Lunatic Pandora. And Sale will be my third third party member to to um, lower the level of bosses here. I could also uh, switch selfie off. Um, if I'm if I'm having trouble here, I will also switch uh, selfie to a lower level character and then just uh, fight with Squall. All right, but there's Fujin and Raijin again. I have to be a little bit of. Uh, I should have probably. Uh, I could have dropped the speed, battle speed, but let's see how it goes. Otherwise, it's fine. But Fujin does uh, does the attack that leaves you with one HP. So. Not Right, writing down, but still we are not in the clear. Meteor is nothing to be worried about. It may knock out Zell, but... That's okay. What I'm worried about is the attack that leaves you with one HP. And that is not pain, but pain is okay. It sounds okay. I probably shouldn't act as selfie right now. Okay, there we go. Some strength ups, so why not use them? Yeah, my strength is now at uh, two two thirty six, so almost uh, almost maximum strength. Now I'm actually going to change the junctions, so that uh, same logic but with thunder. So now my attack is thunder and I can heal myself with, with thunder. Thunder attack, that is. I cannot cast thunder, of course. Next we are going to face an infamous boss. It has pretty nasty attacks, so let's see how that goes. Uh, Squall will be the only one surviving that fight. If anyone that is, but, but there's a save point just before it, so... So 
so we can try again if it goes south. And in this fight I definitely have to uh, heal with Squall. So again I, uh, I'll try and remember to uh, decrease the battle speed after this one. If I get past this one that is. It should do a lot of damage. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I probably shouldn't attack with other characters because of the twin homing laser. Zell is gonna get it. Yep, that's fine. More than fine. There we go. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought, actually. Yeah. He has pretty nasty attacks, but... Uh, thunder thunder uh, in your elemental attack works, works pretty well. Alright. I'm done with all the... Zebra is still learning alert, but I'm not gonna need that, so that's it. We have learned everything except um, we have learned everything except uh, I'll speak down a little bit. Uh, except one one thing we are going to learn from an item, so we get that from Ultimisia's castle. Alright, let's see what Cypher has in store for us.
And that's it for Cypher. And we are going to get the disk change at this point. Alright, next up we have Adele, Adele fight, followed by uh, multiple sorceresses. I haven't had Thunder Elemental Junction uh, at this point before, but I hope it should be alright. I think it's just normal damage to all these sorceresses. And I may need to heal in the last sorceress fight. So I also have thunder in my elemental defense. Alright, Adele. Considering all the build-up, uh, Adele is usually nothing to be concerned about, but... But you have to beat him before... Or her, I guess, before Renoa dies. Nice crit from Selfie. Right, that was pretty nasty. I cannot actually heal Selfie right now, so it's gonna be just Squall. Selfie has, I think, Fire and Wind in her elemental defense so if this is gonna hit selfie selfie is gonna go down yep Alright. 
that's Adele down. Now I don't remember if I get a heal between this fight and the uh, next ones. Let's see if... No, I don't get a heal. Okay, so I need to heal myself. First things first.
auto haste pretty effective here. Alright, we have the final form. I hope she doesn't absorb thunder. I think she doesn't, but... Then we have to reset. There we go. And she always does this counter attack, so I have to have to be wary of my health. It does deal some damage. So like every three turns I need to heal myself and also she casts Ultima, I think. Oh, she doesn't do the counter during the countdown. Okay, I'll just wait for... I don't know how much damage this is gonna... ...heal. Nothing to worry about. Maybe I'll just... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, wait for the countdown. Yeah, I think this is the best strategy here. I don't need to worry about the counter attacks. Yep. And she's down. Uh, next we'll reach Ultimisia's castle. going pretty well. Attack only. Except that one Angela rush. <laughs> which which I let slide, but uh, yeah, in the future I will. That one Angela rush is clearly bothering me. I am going to fight one one fight in Ultimisia's castle just for two reasons. I'm gonna talk about that when I get there. Let's see, I just have to do this for this one fight. Ultimisia's castle is probably my favorite dungeon of all time. Like, I think it's just genius. But we are not going to see a lot of it uh, during this run. I actually do want to save. I, I need to come back and save. Just in case I uh, mess something up. Powers will be sealed, but I uh, I will unseal only one of only one of those for convenience.
and the one we will be fighting is not Sphinxor. I'm going to fight even easier, easier boss than Sphinxor. I'll just grab this key. If I have some sort of trouble with Ultimisia, or I, or I want to try later to beat Ultimisia without order potion or something like that, and, and end up actually doing some of the stuff here, so yeah, I just grab that. Actually, I just figured that uh, uh, after learning Magic Junction, uh, Cerberus actually learns Status Attack, I think. That could have been useful to some degree. Because you can uh, inflict Meltdown to uh, Creever. Okay, I could have realized that a bit sooner, but... I can still uh, I can still get it if I want. Alright, Tiamat. Just double checking, yep. Alright, Tiamat is easiest of the Ultimisius minions. You will soon see why. Dark Flare, you might think that it's a non-elemental attack, but it's not, so just putting fire to your elemental defense, you simply cannot lose, because that's the only attack he does. And he's down. And he should drop an uh, item. Let's see if we get it. I think it should be 100%, but... It's actually really important for the upcoming final boss rush. There we go. It's funny how they didn't uh, remaster this. These are like original. But yeah, I'm gonna unseal save so that. Uh... All right, I cannot use items here. 
that's right. I still have to go back. Uh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Okay. So I could have actually beaten Sphinx or just unseal item first. So that I could have just given the status guard there. It would have been faster, I think, to beat, uh, to beat Sphinx or than run all the way back to the beginning. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm gonna give the status guard to uh, Cerberus, for example, and it will give me a status defense junction. And I will put a uh, bio and blind there. And also I'm gonna do all all the <coughs> final junctions I think I need. Also I'm gonna create more mock spells in squalls and others uh, inventories as well so that uh, when when Ultimis has different forms do the magic destruction thing. I could have actually entered that ring but uh, Have reached an encounter there, so let's just run. Let's just run. Next time I'll I'll beat the Sphinx or first, so that I can uh, unlock item. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, create mock spells to uh, to avoid the magic destruct, or at least uh, make the probability better for me. All right. Um, that is guard Cerberus. Io. Mm, okay, I don't have blind. That's interesting. Does anyone have blind? Oh, I guess I forgot to do that, but that won't be a problem. Okay, there we go. Yep. I could have bought also uh, eye drops, so uh, would have been too bad. So bio, blind. Can I get stops? Twenty-five stops. I guess it's better than nothing, but yeah, stop. Uh, Ultimate you can cast stop. So. All right. That should be okay. Um. Start a potion. And yeah, then the thunder. Thunder, uh, thunder, thunder. Mm, actually, I'm gonna put the thunder here. Okay, let's do it that way. Okay, five, fifty-one hundred HP. That sh that should be enough. I hope strength and speed is more important. Mm. Yep, strength is looking fine. Yeah. 
And then let's see if I can get more mock spells for. Do you have slow, haste, stop, demi, quake, double? Do I have double? No. Everything for selfie, bio break, blind, silence, berserk. That's everything. Okay, that's almost full stock, so... Yeah, so we hope that uh, Aldemisia will target some other spells than the ones we have uh, chunks and so that's, that's the idea. Think if there's anything else. Battle speed already down. I'm probably gonna heal before. Well, I guess that's it. All right, I'm gonna go and save at the last save point. I hope. I hope the save point is actually there without move find. I don't actually know. Okay, this might be interesting if the save point is not there. Then I'm gonna run back one more time. I guess when I play this casually I always have the... Also one thing. Oh, I cannot check it. Okay, I hope I didn't receive any potions or high potions. Probably should have just fought the Sphinx or to <laughs> open the item. Maybe I forgot something else as well. And yeah, Ultimisia is is in no way a safe fight. She has uh, she has many ways to ruin your fight, like in in one move. So it's definitely something that has to be tried over and over, or get lucky and do it do it first try. But uh, it's just uh, the whole destruction, the magic destruction thing. It's Yep, it can hit your HP strength chunk. Basically, if it hits my HP junction, I think there's a small chance. I'm not sure if I can uh, guard against. I do have auto shell, but I don't know if I can guard against uh, apocalypse if I don't have my. HP junction. If you lose your strength junction, that's that's an instant reset. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'll just save my game, and then we are going to face. Ultimisium. 